What's going guys? Brett Williams here on LifeWithOptions.net and on today's video we're going to talk about the importance of having a coach. See, I put a post up on my Instagram story just putting out the question, do you think it's important to have a coach slash mentor, yes or no? And this is what the results came in at. So as you can see, a lot of people do agree that having a coach or a mentor is a really good important thing, but I see there's a few people that are thinking, yeah, I don't really need a coach. And you know what? I had that exact same thought. Back when I was doing my bodybuilding comp, I decided that I was gonna do it without a coach or a mentor. And look, I'll throw up some photos of my comp so you can have a look at those as well. Here they are now. So as you can see, I did end up getting up on stage end up getting into those sparkly little uh, pieces of material that really, you know, shouldn't be worn outside. But anyway, got out there wearing those and uh, yeah, let me tell you a little bit of a story about leading up to that and also after that. You know what, before I get into this story about my bodybuilding competition and you know, the before and the after and why the mentor and the coach and that sort of thing, I think I should really show a little bit more of my journey and show a photo from before. So reluctantly, here is a photo from before the comp. So as you can see, I got a little bit uh, well-rounded, you could say. Um, but anyway, the, the, the whole motive behind doing the comp was to really get out of my comfort zone. It was really to challenge myself and just put my mind to something and do something that I hadn't thought that I would do. And biggest part of it for me was really getting out of my comfort zone because as you saw in those previous photos, you know, those little green pieces of underwear, they were not really covering a heck of a lot. And to stand up there in, on stage with just wearing that, you know, it's really putting yourself out there to be judged by everybody. So I really was uh, doing it to, to rebuild some of my self-confidence, really. And that was part of the whole process over the last couple of years to really rebuild myself and master my own self. Because the only way that you're gonna learn more about yourself is to put yourself out of your comfort zone. So anyway, a bit more about that story. Obviously, as you saw, I got involved with that bodybuilding comp. I started the competition preparation with a coach and then I thought, you know what, no, I don't need a coach. You know, I know enough. I've been in the gym since I was 15. I, I know what I'm doing. Just really, you know, lift heavy and eat clean. You know, that's pretty much it. And do a bit of cardio and stuff like that. Simple. Did a bit of research and stuff online and really sort of put some of the pieces of the puzzle together. So I started to really start seeing results. What the point is, is one of the biggest things that I didn't realize going into this comp was the post comp side of things. The purpose of a coach and a mentor is really to see the things that you don't know. Because at the end of the day, we don't know what we don't know. Makes sense? I know that's confusing. But you don't know that you don't know something. And if, you, if you're sitting there and you're going, yeah, but I know that I don't know how to do brain surgery. Yeah, but you know that you don't know it. But there's other stuff that you don't know that you don't know. I know that's twisting the mind around a bit. One of the things that I didn't know going into the comp was the whole idea of reverse dieting. I went into the comp, I had the target, I was all gun ho I knew where I was going to. After that one day, after that whole thing that I'd been working up to, I I did not know that my emotional instincts on the other side were going to really kick in to a point where I was going to that I was going to be up here one moment and Woohoo! all the way down here the next. See, what happened for me as I was on the post comp side of things is because you've restric restricted yourself or because I restricted myself so much with what I was eating, I then allowed myself to have some other food. That resulted in me ultimately just putting on a lot of weight. I really became very emotionally unstable and I was just really just eating up at myself. And the thing was, is at the same time that I was going through it, I was speaking to some friends of mine who had also done that comp. They had been doing it for the first time as well and they had a coach and they were like, yeah, my coach coach told me that you need to be mindful on the other side. You've got to really reverse diet out. Otherwise you'll blow out. And at the same time, because you've restricted your body so much, it's not going to know when you're full. So you're going to have some troubles on the other side of the actual competition. See, because I didn't have a coach, a coach who had already walked the journey, who already knew what they were doing. I didn't know what I didn't know. See, the whole purpose of having a coach that already knows what's coming up is that they can prepare you for it. They already know what is coming up so they can go, hey, when you get to this point, be aware of the desire to eat as much as you want and eat junk food because all of a sudden you're not having that competition, that date, that goal that you're working towards. And just be mindful that when you do, the body's not gonna respond so well and it's going to all of a sudden just not feel full and it's just gonna want more and more, more and more. So these were all the things that I didn't know. And I must admit, Going back, look, if I could go back and do my first bodybuilding comp once more time, I would absolutely have a coach because that coach would make sure that I'm not going to do any detriment to my body, not going to do any detriment to my mind, because this is the thing. You might just think of it from a physical perspective, but you are putting the body under a lot of stress and pressure. And at the same time, when you are coming out the other side, and I know from my own perspective and my own story was the fact that, you know, I was eating takeaway. I was eating fast food because I had restricted myself from that for so 
long. And all of a sudden, as I said, I was eating more and then I was still hungry, so I was eating more. And then I was starting to go into a really downward spiral thinking, you know, what's wrong with me? For the last however many months, I've been strict eating my chicken and rice and my, my salad and all that sort of stuff, eating really healthy and clean. But now all of a sudden, I can't even stop eating all of this junk food. And in the early part of it, I was thinking, you know what? It's okay, it's all right. I've got this, like I've already proved it to myself. I'll pull myself together in the next week. You know what, just, just this one extra meal, just this one extra meal. And then all of a sudden that spiraled into about a month's worth of just absolutely overwhelming myself with eating bad food, challenging and questioning myself what it is that is going wrong for me, why can't I stop myself, and all of these questions. So as I said, the whole point of having a coach is that they already know what's coming up. They can prepare you. They can make sure that you move through it in a smoother, faster way so that you don't have to try and learn all of the basics and all the foundations yourself and ultimately extend the length of time in which you would get to where you want to get to. So why am I talking about all of this? Obviously at the end of the day, life with options and the direction that I'm heading in is all about mindset coaching. And the reason why I'm really passionate about this is because it took me six years to really master my own mind and really connect in with myself so that I can actually understand myself to the point where I can really articulate what's going on and stand comfortably in being vulnerable. So my whole focus here is really just to highlight the importance of having a coach or a mentor. Yes, I understand you can watch videos and stuff on YouTube to really get that coaching and the mentor and all of the empowerment side of things. 100% agree with that, I do it myself. But one of the things that you don't get out of that is that, that hands-on, one-on-one coaching side of things. Being able to really get that feedback that you're looking for, to be able to understand what's going on for yourself, how to move forward in that, and what to actually look forward to next. That is the whole point of me explaining what is the purpose and what is the importance of having a coach and a mentor. So I'm gonna put it out there. I've got the free one-hour, one-on-one session. Go and check out this link. Go and book in your session. Let's have a chat. At the end of the day, I can guarantee you that we're going to start getting some breakthroughs with that, be able to ask that feedback questions, be able to get those sorts of responses, all the sorts of things that you're not going to get when you're going on the path solo. Sure, I went on the path solo and whilst I don't regret it, I just know how much having a proper coach would have really, really changed my path and my journey and would have shortened it down from that six year period down to maybe a year. And at the same time, like I'm even in a coaching program at the moment participating in it, so I practice what I preach. It is highly, highly important to really understand yourself and the best way to do that is by having a coach or a mentor go and book in that free one hour session let's have a chat if it looks like there's something moving forward we can work out something together and just do it because you're worth it at the end of the day that's the whole point you're worth it because as I'm saying there is a genuine opportunity to not be walking through this path of life on your own and I know what can happen with all of that I've seen my other video all about loneliness you know I get it I understand I understand the challenges so as said go and book in that free one hour session let's have a chat let's see what we can do and how I can help you to be able to move through all of the stuff that you're working with at the moment, whether it is setting those boundaries for yourself, limiting how much you're people pleasing and finding that deeper happiness within yourself. All of these things I know I can help you out with because as I said, it's been my own journey and I want to just gift that to other people to be able to ensure that they can walk the path a lot quicker because I can promise you if I could have done it in one year instead of the six years that I took me, I absolutely would have done it in one year. So go ahead, go and book that in. And as always guys, if you've got any value you out of this one like it share it comment it show it some love and if you're watching this on youtube make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you stay up to date with all the upcoming videos and i'll speak to you soon cheers